a bow with your earrings and match your necklace. She on the guest list, mommy says she from Texas. She got a fetish for Neiman Marcus and Fred. What's up, world? It's your girl, Brittany. And today we have Benzino in our presence. What's up? What's up, Brittany? What's up? You're like the, the talk of the town right now. You know, loving hip hop Atlanta is popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and, taking off really well. And you and Stevie J and Jocelyn yeah. and, and everybody are like the, the stars of the show. How did you kind of get involved with the show? I was living in Miami, and me and Stevie have been friends for like over 10 years, doing music together and stuff. So Stevie would come to Miami and I had a studio down there and we, we would work, you know, a lot. And um, he told me he was in Atlanta and, you know, it was time for me to come up there and do some music. And this was like before the show. So I went up there, I think maybe a month before the show had got um, started filming. I really didn't know too much about it. And then we just started working in the studio. We had formed a band together. And um, I was pretty much doing music with him. And then, you know, he had him and uh, I guess Stevie and Mimi had cast for the show. And um, the rest was history. I was doing some stuff with Stevie. And then I had met, from being on the set with Stevie, I, I had met Carly Red. And then we had, you know, we went on a date. Um, really, you know, we went on a date off camera first because, you know, I, I really wasn't with the whole, you know, I, I didn't want nobody really to know. I, I understood that she was on the show with us. I was trying to keep it private. But then, you know, um, Mona had found out that we've been dating and was like, listen, you know, you need to put, you know, we need to put the cameras involved if you're going to be dating and not casting. Mm -hmm. The next thing, you know, that's what's history. To sailing on the island where the private yacht, hey. fleet of motorcycles and the flies drops. In my heart, always knew I'd make it to the So what's up with you and Carly? Because, I mean, you seem really, seem like you're really digging that. Is, is that relationship real or? Well, yeah, you know, me and Carly was dating for the, I mean, it was like a few months. So everything you know that you've seen on camera, it was it was it was real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And she's kind of like in the position, I guess you could say, like the struggling artist kind of. Did you feel like that she might have been trying to utilize you and use you for whoever you know to get to the top? Because she was dating um, LA Reid. You too. know, I mean, at that point, I really didn't know too much about Carly Red. You know what I'm saying? I just knew that she was, you know, an attractive woman, and um, we went out and just started, you know. Just, just started connected. I had, I had just been in Atlanta, you know, maybe only, I mean, six weeks, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, um, you know, like I was, you know, single. So you know what I'm saying? I had met her and we went out and we just started clicking. As far as her being a struggling artist, I think everybody on the show, you know what I'm saying, was definitely um, about their career and trying to get their careers off the ground. Everybody had some certain type of exposure in, in the industry you know, some more than others, you know, Stevie being, you know, Grammy Award winning producer and stuff. And, you know, K. Michelle had a deal and Rashida had been signed. You know, Carly had been doing, you know, some stuff. She was on um, Screen Queens for VH1. Yeah. And, you know, she put out a few songs or whatever. So she had been doing this for a minute. So, you know, it was pretty much like that with everybody on the cast. I don't want to make you mad, no. I want to make it right again. Give me another chance, I can make it right again. We got so much history, me and you against the world. It ain't a mystery, you always been my baby. He's your homeboy, and he's a, he's a wild boy. Like, right. Well, you know. <laughs> like, you Stevie, know. Stevie, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, you know, Sleezo has his own thing about him. Um, I think, though, one thing people gotta understand is that what Stevie's bringing to TV is something I don't think really has ever been done. You know? I think. Um, and I can't speak for everybody, but I think, you know, the, a majority of people have been through a triangle one way or the other. And Stevie's just bringing his try his love triangle to TV. I mean, we're human beings and we're made to love. So loving two people isn't so out of the ordinary when you think about it. He's just caught up. Is it right? You know, that's for one's opinion, you know, but at the end of the day, I mean, he does have films for both women. It happened, and you know, both women have films for him. What's good, y'all? I'm finally here. Global grind. All right, this is Benzino. Holla at your boy. Shout out to Russ. What's good? And everybody over there, Global Grind. Peace. <laughs>